Good evening everyone. Um, my name is Sondo. I'm redoing this video because the one that I had done previously, the audio was not good. I'm hoping the audio will be good. So let's go. Uh, I'm a poultry farmer and I'm going to run you through the activities that I do outside work hours by profession. I'm an IT technician, which is my work, and my job is what I'll show you. So, we are in the chicken run, and this is a new cage that I'm just making uh, for the quails. This cage is going to house about 700 quails once it's completed this is the next generation poultry farmer by the name of joshua so we have these quills here which are approximately 150 in number this set here and the other set these are the parent quails where I pick my eggs from. As you can see, there's an egg there. All these are parent quails, about 150 numbers. In number, from these, I got this first hatch. And these are about 100. After that, and they are 100 and approximately one month old. Very soon, I'll be picking eggs from these. From here, I have this set also here. These, I think, they are approximately three weeks because I hatch every seven days. I hatch about 100 quails. As you can see, there's a demarcation here. This is another set of quails, baby quails, and from these ones, I think they are approximately also 100. I pause. As someone may ask to say, why is it that your water is green? Uh, the water that you give the quails is green. I put aloe vera in these uh, drinkers for the quails. It's a topic for another day, but for now, our concentration is on quails. So, uh, this cage has got about one, two, three, four, five. It's got about six floors. In each floor, I can put eight quails. And uh, six by four, uh, that is... Those of you who've done maths, you do the calculation for me. Then I also have chili. I grow chili. And this chili I grow. I all I use this just for the quails and chickens. I don't utilize so much of antibiotics, but I go the natural way. So Let's go, we see some more quails. As I said, I hatch quails every seven days. I have a new set of quails. Okay. You have broilers. These are 200 in number. And this is not our topic, but I'm doing broilers alongside quails. So, as most of you know, uh, it's uh, quite a bit of, of a hectic to put broilers in cages. So what I have done for myself is I'll let the broilers roam around on the ground, but I raised, que I mean, I raised cages for quails to, to sit in. This is to utilize the little space that I have. And in here, I have baby quails, 
these ones, I think they're approximately seven days old. So these ones, they feed on broiler starter. That's the feed they get. And in here, this water is medicated with Tetrox chick formula. The Tetrox chick formula that I give to the chickens, that's what I give to the quails when they are still babies to reduce on mortality. Coming back to the main quails, the feed that the uh, layers eat, I, I'm saying layers because these quails are the ones that are giving me the eggs, I give them layers mash. So these that are giving me the eggs, they, they feed on layers mash. And the top one, the big ones, these, they are still eating starter. The same starter that I gave to broiler chickens. So let's go inside the house where the production of quails is done so that you can see what you do. Stick around, there are some hatchlings there. So I just want you to see what we do outside the office. So welcome to the production center. And from here, as you can see, we have trays of eggs. These ones are going to be fed into the incubator today. Uh, every five days, I collect about uh, 200 to 260 eggs every five days. And uh, here is a machine that does the magic. Uh, this is my incubator. This machine was designed by me, uh, configured by me, and everything done by me. Let's get into the workings of this incubator. You have an STC 3028 on top here. This STC 3028 measures both the temperature and the humidity. The temperature range is, the way I've set it, uh, is from 37 degrees to 37.5 degrees. And my humidity runs from 55 degrees to about 70 degrees now that they are hatching. Here you have a manual hydrometer. The big number you can see as a percentage, uh, that is uh, the humidity. So if I don't have power, I check to say, are they almost in the same range? This humidity here and that humidity there. This one is a manual one. This one is the main controller that controls the incubator. So the temperature is at 37.3, so I come here also, 37.3. So whether I have power or I don't have power, I know what's happening. So let's dive into the main, main incubator. So inside here, you have two bulbs, each is 100 watts, and in this container, you have an element that heats the water, the, humi uh, the humidity, heating the water that is required for the humidity. And here you have a fan that sucks both the hot water, the humidified water, and the heat produced by the bulbs. Everything is fed into that fan. This fan sucks everything from here and sends through into this vacuum here. There's nothing behind this vacuum apart from that pipe that is coming from the main incubator. So when the temperature I mean when the bulbs produce the heat and when that element heats up the water the vapor or moisture that comes up that's the humidity and the temperature produced here 
that's what uh, we get to uh, reach the right temperature for the eggs for hatching so everything is sucked and blown into this fan into that vacuum and that vacuum comes out of this pipe Close this. so this pipe runs from here and comes down 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 up to there and it gets into the main main incubator so let's open the incubator we see what's happening in there so in the main incubator we have another fan down here so this fan sucks all the heat that was pushed down from the top and sucks everything blowing the hot air and the right humidity into this space when it blows everything into this space this space pushes everything and warms all the eggs in here so this incubator has a sitting capacity of 2000 210 eggs in one sitting and this is the manual hydrometer the one I said on top uh, is a manual one and this is the main controller the electrical one that measures both uh, temperature and humidity so this is the one that controls this incubator so I feed eggs every five days into this incubator so my interval is five days every after five days I hatch quails every after five days I hatch quails so I have a set of hatching quails currently and as you can see these ones hatched today started hatching today uh, they are not yet finished hatching so I'm waiting for them I'm waiting for them to finish hatching I'll come back here tomorrow as you can see this one is almost coming out so we leave it to hatch on its own when it's done then we'll be happy we have a new baby quail so we leave it to fully come out of the egg okay so others have hatched as you can see and this is an empty shell so this is what we do behind working hours and I had approximately 200 plus eggs here so far almost half have hatched and I'm still waiting for them to fully hatch because they started today and they should be finishing maybe tomorrow or the other day this is just a show of what we do behind the scenes and I say thank you have a pleasant day